The population of the world is growing, rain patterns are changing, temperatures are rising, and our water needs are growing. Unprecedented, the contribution of the Marcus couple. A half a billion dollars. I, I just couldn't believe it. Who are they, and where do they get all that money? It's an incredible story. If you do one really important thing in your life and you make it count, you've succeeded as far as I'm concerned. In April of 33, I realized at that point that my time in Germany was up. That consul general saved my father's life. Having survived the Holocaust, they felt very strongly that they wanted to support Israel. There are about seven and a half, eight billion people in the world today. Only about a billion of them have safe, secure, on-demand water. We're going to find ourselves in a world of real disruption and a world of refugee flows, and disrupted economies and disrupted national securities that we are just unprepared for. This is where it all started, in the Israeli Negev desert. Make that place which now seems uninhabitable, habitable. The eureka moment for me was the awareness that Israel had answers to most of the world's water problems. So there's no need for the world to go down the track of water wars. The technology, the solutions are all there. That was why my parents chose water research. They felt that solving the Middle East's water problem might help lead to peace. Somebody always has to be the lead gift. Something like this will inspire donors of all stripes to do the same. Imagine if they do that. Things like Mr. Buffett's giving pledge, for example, is just wonderful. We are moving into the era of big philanthropy. Think of what the Marcuses did. Just think about it. It does require a compass in your mind that, that, that points true north. They decided to do something that wasn't getting done that they could make happen.